Top 10 Amazing Things You May Not Have Known About Airplanes Have you ever stopped to think about how amazing aviation really is? Think about it. A Boeing 747 jumbo jet without any passengers weighs over 412,000 pounds. Yet, it is somehow able to fly through the air. Over 100,000 flights take place around the world every day. And there is a ton of science and technology that goes behind making these incredible machines work. Welcome to Fact Hut, and today we're counting down our list of top 10 amazing facts about airplanes. Before we start, we want to invite you to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Also, don't forget that notification bell so that you won't miss any new releases. With that being said, let's jump right in. Number 10. Airplanes are able to withstand lightning strikes It may come as a surprise to many, but airplanes actually get struck by lightning pretty often. There are many estimates that say that every aircraft on the planet will get struck by lightning at least once per year, or one per every 1,000 hours of flight time. Here's the thing. There has not been an aircraft brought down by lightning since 1963. This isn't a fluke. Designers were careful to protect airplanes from such things. Every plane now is built so that an electric charge from a lightning bolt will run through the aircraft and back out again, typically without causing damage to the plane itself. Number 9. There is no safest seat on the plane The risk of a plane crashing is very minimal. We all know this. But it still doesn't stop the thought from going through our heads from time to time. It has led many to believe that should a plane end up going down, there are areas on the plane that are safer to sit in than others. Is it true, though? Are there some places on a plane that are safer during a crash than others? According to the FAA, the answer is no. There have been a few studies done, though, that show certain sections of the plane have different fatality rates during a crash. The seats in the back third of the aircraft had a 32% fatality rate, while the front and middle sections had 38 and 39% fatality rates, respectively. But the thing is, there are so many variables in play during a crash that it is impossible to know where the safest place to sit is. Number 8. Some airplanes have hidden bedrooms for flight crews. Flight attendants are the unsung heroes of the airline industry. They are responsible for making flights as comfortable as possible for the passengers. This sometimes requires them to work during incredibly long flights, some of which can last for 12 to 16 hours. To help combat fatigue, some planes like the Boeing 777 and 787 Dreamliners are built with small bedrooms where flight crews can go in and sleep for a while. The bedrooms are usually accessed via a hidden staircase that leads up to a small low ceiling room. Here you can find between 6 and 10 beds and a bathroom. Depending on the aircraft, there could even be in-flight entertainment. Number 7. Tires are specifically designed to not pop on landing. Think about how heavy the airplanes are. Now imagine how hard landings can be. It is crazy how much pressure can be put on the tires. However, these aren't your run-of-the-mill Goodyear tires. These tires are specially made to not burst when a plane hits the ground at nearly 200 miles per hour. They can handle up to 38 tons of weight as they strike the ground with incredible force. Not only that, they can repeat this process over 500 times before the tire needs to be changed. These tires are inflated to 200 pounds per square inch. That's around six times the air pressure used in a car tire. But what if a tire does end up needing to be fixed? Surprisingly, it's quite simple. Ground crews simply jack the plane up and change it. That way, there's no delaying flights or taking planes out of commission. Number 6. There is a reason that cabin lights are dimmed during landing. Have you ever noticed that the cabin lights always dim during a landing? Why is that? Some people have said that since it's the scariest part of a flight, the dim lights make people more calm. That's not the case. In actuality, it is so that in the unlikely event that the landing goes badly and passengers need to evacuate, their eyes will already be adjusted to the darkness, making the landing go much smoother. Pilots explain it like being in an unfamiliar bright room that is filled with obstacles. Then, someone turns out the light and tells you to leave as quickly as possible. It would be quite a bit of time before a person could move around safely. It's the same on a plane. Number 5. Airplanes can function with just one engine. Perhaps you've seen videos circulating recently of an airliner whose engine had exploded mid-air. This is one of the scariest scenarios to be in. 
Tens of thousands of feet in the air and one of the engines stopped working. Here's the thing though. Every commercial airplane is designed to be able to operate with only one engine if needed. Yes, it may make the airliner less fuel efficient and will reduce its range. But the planes are designed and tested with these situations in mind. The Boeing Dreamliner can actually fly for five and a half hours with just one engine. So fear not, engine failure has been thought out. On a side note, should all engines fail, most planes can glide. Due to careful aeronautical engineering, a Boeing 747 can glide for two miles for every 1,000 feet they are above the ground. That allows plenty of time to get everyone safely to the ground. Number 4. Plane bathrooms still have ashtrays. Smoking has been banned on airplanes for years now. But some of the more astute passengers know that the lavatory still have ashtrays in them. Why is this? It's because the airline companies know that no matter how many rules and regulations you put in place, there will always be someone there to violate them. So, despite the no-smoking policy, some people still try to sneak a smoke in the bathroom. The hope is that if someone violates the smoking policy, they will do so in a relatively confined space that is away from the passengers. Also, it is hoped that they will dispose of it in a safe place instead of the trash can where things could catch on fire. Number 3. The tiny holes in airplane windows have a purpose. Have you ever looked at the windows and seen a tiny hole in the bottom? There's no need to panic. No one is going to get sucked out. The holes are there to regulate cabin pressure. Most airplane windows are made up of three panels of acrylic. The exterior windows work just as you would expect, keeping out the elements and maintaining cabin pressure. But in the unlikely event that something happens to the exterior pane, the second pane acts as a failsafe. The tiny hole in the interior window is there to regulate the air pressure so that the middle pane remains intact and unbroken. That way, in the even more unlikely event that the second pane breaks, it can act as a final barrier until the plane can land. Number 2. There is a reason that the airplane food tastes so bad. It's no secret that airplane food has a bad reputation. The meals can be quite bland and that's on a good day. However, it usually doesn't have anything to do with the way the meal is prepared. The real fault lies with the plane itself. The dry recycled air inside the plane has next to no humidity. This dulls the taste of the food and smell, making sweet items taste less sweet, while elevating the taste of salt. Some studies have found that it is about 30% more difficult to detect sweet tastes when you're in the air. So next time you're in the air, remember that it's the airplane that failed your taste buds and not the chef. Number 1. Oxygen masks have a limited supply of air. Everyone has made it a habit to read the safety instructions when you sit in your seat. Even the cabin crew will do their pre-flight safety discussion. Each will cover what happens when there is a sudden loss in cabin pressure. The oxygen masks will drop for you to put on. But what they don't tell you is that there is a limited supply of this oxygen, 15 minutes to be exact. That seems like a very short amount of time. Here's the thing though. The sudden drop in air pressure means that the aircraft is descending at a relatively rapid pace. A person only needs the mask for as long as they are above 10,000 feet. When descending at such a rate, 15 minutes is more than enough time to allow for breathing. Do you agree with our list? What are some other amazing things about airplanes that you find fascinating? Let us know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to check out some of our previous videos for more great content. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.